Hello, my beautiful Scorpio Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your 2024 annual overview. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. You'll also see below, we're running the, the January Key West Retreat Information Banner. You can go to the same website, royalmystic.com, and see all the information for that. There's a few spots available. Please come join us. It's going to be amazing. Thank you in advance for the likes and subscribes, and let's get down to bed in this. Here we go, Scorpio. Ooh, we have the Gemini lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. So when we're in the lover's energy, it's not always about the Gemini or the relationship. It can be. However, we're talking ascension here. This is being in your divine path working toward what you have requested or signed your soul's contract to do. This is your soul's agreement being pushed into your higher realm frequency. It means ascension and following your soul's journey. Now, when we're in the energy of this, you understand the physical form, the masculine, the warrior is your body and the feminine, the beautiful maiden is your soul. So you are constantly in that place of ascending your whole life. And the wheel of fortune is going to give you a nice boost for that because it's a 10 number one, which means a cycle completed. That means all the stuck energy you have, or you've been feeling like you've been held back or th things just aren't working the way you want them. This is a big release for that. So you're about to get unstuck real fast. This means all red lights turn green, all doors open, and you are literally being catapulted to your destiny. So this means by getting that energy of having to have been held back, you actually cause some momentum to be built, built up because as it's like a bow and arrow, it's drawing you back and you're being sent further than you could have gone in the natural. So it's kind of a blessing, even though it didn't feel like it at the time. So Wheel of Fortune is also a 10. So we love that energy with the lovers. Gemini Major Arcana may be here for you in the way of your, your natal chart or someone in your life. But all of this is really wonderful toward ascension. Let's see what else we have, my Scorpios. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit. Okay, so this is where we let logic have to sit, take a back seat. This card is telling you logic will not serve you. You've got to get in your mastermind energy of, of manifesting what you're trying to create. This is may require some meditation and is connecting to your source. So you're using the quantum to create. And that means logic isn't on, on the table because miracles aren't logical, right? So let go of the need for it to make sense and just believe that anything is possible and let the universe show you how amazing that belief is. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we're going to start with the energy of January, the one o'clock on the clock. So think of it like the face of a clock as we look at this. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, Sorry, <laughs> November and December. We have our underlier as the beautiful strength card. This is the Leo Major Arcana. It also represents loyalty and dedication to the mission because this is where the Archangel Ariel, the Lion of God, is coming in to help you stay focused on your goal and not let anybody distract you or pull you off task. So you've got assistance in keeping your focus. That's amazing because that's the hardest thing to do. We'll, sit, we'll set our intention at the beginning of the year. And then we kind of sway a little bit as we move through life's adventures, right? Well, this is going to bring you back to your focus every time. So we'll take that with an amazing yes. 
And then we have the Two of Rods as our clarifying deck's underlier, which is the energy of making a choice that follows what you feel is aligned with your heart. That means you're going to have more than one option. Neither of them is wrong. They'll both come through in a way that you need. However, one of them isn't going to feel as comfortable as the other, and that's why you don't let anyone talk you into something that's not aligned with you. This is where you have to stand in your spiritual power and seize the day. This is a success story either way you go, but you'll second guess yourself the whole time if you don't choose what you are aligned with. People can have a different vision for you, even though the outcome's the same. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Scorpio, sun, moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We got something flipped over, right, y'all? It's a couple of them. Yep, okay. On their highest possible spiritual path, we thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we had some volunteers. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. As we move into this blessed energy, our underlier is, hello, talk about a victory. This is stepping through the vortex into your new year in a very high fashion. She is dancing through the doorway. And these, if you see these four symbols on each side, this is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, Major Arcana, escorting this energy of the open vortex. So, and you remember, the laurel wreath is always a symbol of victory and good abundance. So, there you are, meeting the goal. That's exactly what that Leo strength card is there to help you do. And your energy and the Leo are here and present in the creation of this open energy, as well as the Aquarius and the Taurus. So, air, water, earth, and fire energy open this vortex and you are stepping in in the victory. Let's see what January has to say, my darling Scorpios. Woo! Well, a nice victory indeed. So we have the chariot, the Cancer Major Arcana, and the Eight of Pentacles, which is mastering something new, which would put you in this place of being seen as a master and in the limelight. Remember, the chariot is upgrade energy and victory on wheels, so it's not slowing down. So You are already in starting that journey, or it's about to begin any second, and we'll take it because you're going to be in a high position or seen as like a rock star at what you do exalted energy that is a beautiful energy for january and february comes in with the beautiful empress and the ace of swords the empress is the divine feminine creative source energy this is the framework being given to you in order to create something that you are now stepping into from the you know you're on the wings of this uh, chariot energy so now the universe is coming in with the divine feminine which is the goddess energy of all creation and then you've got the clarity energy and the victory energy of this Ace of Swords. It's cutting through all the clouds, cutting through the veil, allowing you to move forward. And what is that on top of that? A laurel wreath. Hello. We'll take it. So you'll be able to see your way forward. Even if you don't know what it is right now, you don't have to. You're going to be given the, the, the energy of discernment and visioning for your new set of energy that's coming in there in February. So you're, you're actually already polishing those skills, and here it comes. Now, March, we've got the Page of Swords and this beautiful confirmation to all believers. It's a special bonus card that comes in this Hanson Robert, Roberts deck. It is the energy of being given the insight or a download. This can come in through a dream or just a sudden knowing. Remember, divine downloads happen all the time. And it's saying what you believe to be true for you, this says to all believers, shall be true. 
And that means your energy is not wasted. So focus your energy and bring it in because it's here for you to do that. That's March. April, we have the Queen of Rods with the Capricorn Devil card. Now, it's not a very happy little picture on that Devil card, but it can just mean a Capricorn person. But because you're about to have this energy of success and your power is in your hands, you may start to second guess yourself or someone may come try to throw some salt on you. Do not listen to this devil energy if it's negative for you. If it's a Capricorn in your life, you know, it is what it is. But don't self-sabotage just because you feel like, well, maybe I don't, maybe I don't qualify and I'm just making myself get in a scary position to failure. No, that's not the truth. So don't let it be. Remember, what you believe to be true is true for you. And that is April. May is get on that horse and go because you've got a divine opportunity being offered. This is the card of action and it's prompting you to let's do it now. No time to waste. This is an offer coming in that you don't recognize. It means you may misjudge it as less than what it is. It's blessings in disguise. It is the hand of the universe offering the Holy Grail and he's ignoring it. Because he's going, oh, well, I've got three cups here. I, I really, I don't, I'm not really shopping for a new cup, right? I can only drink out of one cup at a time. I don't know. If you're going to give away any cups, give those away and keep that one. Because when it's the Holy Grail, it is the blessings of all existence being given. Now, the way you sort, sort this out is when an offer comes in and you're not too sure and you, you don't really understand it and maybe it looks wrong, fully vet it before you say no, which means dig a little deeper. You may have to dig, you know, like go into a, to a meeting with somebody and, and see what they're really talking about because you can't always judge a book by its cover. And this is certainly one of those cases. So don't turn, don't throw your baby out with the bathwater on this one. Keep, keep, keep yourself in a place of where you can check it before you say no. <laughs> Cause you don't want to miss that. Hello. <laughs> so June looks pretty peachy. Um, I would say there's the four of pentacles, which is the energy of financial security and money in the bank and a uh, hello money in the bank, 10 of pentacles. Now remember, there's no set amount on the 10 of pentacles. It's unlimited. This is abundance of a lifetime. So don't start naming numbers and cut yourself short because the universe might have a whole lot of zeros behind the one you are thinking. So abundance of a lifetime means just that. And whatever you can believe is true for you, remember? So unlimited abundance is unlimited abundance. And the universe has plenty. So June, July, there you are in the tower energy, making changes. The universe is creating something to be taken out of your life permanently. Whatever this is, has been holding you captive, or it's a limitation that's been re been just really holding you back. It can be a whole new way of doing what you do in your life right now in a, in a brand new way that works better for you. I got the tower a whole bunch right before I left my nine to five and came to do this, and I've never looked back. It's been amazing. And I was a little intimidated because I was afraid of the tower. Not no more. We're going to have a wonderful time when the tower comes in. Now, you might have to wait a second for all of the, the fruits to be ripened as the tower comes down, but it's coming. So don't, don't be in a place of negativity because you already know it's on the way. So we'll take that seven of pentacles. Thank you very much. And that's July, August, lightning strike energy that also accompanies that tower. That's what's taking the tower down. I want to show you that. And here's the lightning strike. So you may have a hint that something's kind of foreboding and something's changing. Well, all of a sudden, the money is now available. Where you're waiting here with that seven of pentacles waiting for it to ripen on the vine. Well, there's your ace. And it's got the beautiful Easter lilies there. The rejuvenation, the restoration, and a full new platform coming in. Either a brand new completely different from what you're doing, or in addition to, we'll take it either way. It's a gift from divine and we don't ever turn away those gifts. So my goodness, Scorpio, y'all are doing it this year. And another page showing you the way forward. So he's giving you the information you need in order to take action in the six of swords as you launching in the right direction, allowing yourself to go forward with the knowledge and skills that you have in order 
to start this brand new thing. So there you have that. September. Love it. Six of Swords means you're going in the right direction. That's a confirmation. And none of the stuff from the past is going to follow you. Hello. And another, another beautiful night. So have, you've got three nights out here so far. This is the Knight of Cups, and it's an offer being made with a an official document. So this document is coming in is either a contract or some kind of official. It has to be, you know, official. So this is another one of the little bonus cards that comes in the Hanson Roberts deck, and it stands for a parchment. You see, it's a scroll. It's just naming the name of the deck. So it is a beautiful energy of getting something and it's coming with that Knight of Cups, so it means it's something authentic and of value, right? We'll take it. So he's trumpeting in with his cup, extending that to you. And November, we have the Nine of Rods where you've built this thing up and you're in the last piece of it. And you just have to be patient for the timing. You want the timing to be exactly right, and it will be. Don't try to rush it. Be patient where you are and don't jump too fast because this is saying you've got to, you've got to tie something up nicely. And that's what this means. You're, you won't be able to go forward until you neatly finish what you've done here and it can stand on its own. It's not like you're abandoning what you're currently doing in this energy up here, but you are ready now. You are ready to step forward as it can stand on its own. So let the timing be exactly what it should be and you'll be able to move forward without a second care. Yay, team. That's November. And last but not least, we have December, which is very fast-moving energy with the Eight of Rods blooming possibilities, new fast-moving negotiation and communication with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups means soulmate energy. It can also mean divine connection to higher self, where your higher self is the one running the show rather than your ego. It also can mean a divine partnership in business and or relationship because it does mean having that Vulcan mind meld kind of energy where everybody's working for the highest good. And we'll take that as we move into the December going into the new year for you in 2025. So you're closing your year out with some fast moving energy with some very aligned higher self energy with that two of cups. So. Let's look at this beautiful energy. You've got three nights, fast moving energy. You've got one, two, and three page. Well, where's the other page? I know you had another page. Maybe it was in the beginning. I could swear you had another page. Anyway, it is wonderful. You have two aces, ace of swords, ace of pentacles, and a beautiful energy of being able to step into this offering that's being made with lots of money. This is lots of wonderful abundance and new beginnings. So I send you all many blessings, lots of love and light. Don't, don't let the, the, the fear talk you out of your blessing. Do not self-sabotage because you've already won. All you have to do is let yourself step through the threshold, my darlings. Success is yours. Many blessings to you all. Have a fabulous year, and I'll see you soon. Namaste, my friends.